Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. This is Rocky. In this video, I am going to show you how to reset or change your WordPress admin password, assuming that you have lost it. So, what do you need in order to change or reset the WordPress admin password? There are two cases. The first case is that you are trying to reset the admin password on localhost. So in this case, you just need access to PHP MyAdmin. So having said that, let's get started with the actual solution. All right, so right now I'm trying to access the admin panel on my local host. So let's look at the problem real quick. So I have entered my details. I'm trying to hit the login. And as you can see, there's an error because I just don't remember my password or I have entered an incorrect password. In order to fix this on localhost, just access the PHP MyAdmin on your localhost. In my case, the URL is localhost slash PHP MyAdmin. So the URL to access PHP MyAdmin depends upon your setup. Just make sure that you are able to access PHP MyAdmin and make sure that you log in. In my case, I don't have a password, so I'm going to click go. And once the page loads, access the database for your WordPress installation. In my case, it is this WordPress database. And once the table loads, simply click on the WP underscore users table. And here is the entry for the admin user. Now let's go ahead and edit this record by clicking on this pencil icon or the edit link against the first entry and that will show the screen in the value text box against the column user pass which stands for the password there is a encrypted value simply remove this value and enter the new value with which you would like to log in for example in my case i want the new login password to be one two three four five so so just enter whatever value you require over here and from the drop down over here under the function column just click on the drop down and select the md5 function what this will do is it will encrypt the one two three four five and it will store the encrypted value against this user pass column so let us see how that's going to work Simply click on the go button here. And as I just mentioned, under the user pass, now you can see an encrypted value as opposed to the unencrypted value or the plain text. So now let's try to log in and see what happens. Simply visit your admin login section and then enter your password. In my case, I'm going to enter one, two, three, four, five, like so. Click on login. And voila, there you go. So this is how we can actually change or reset the admin password in localhost. So let us take a look at case two now. The second case is that you want to change or reset the admin password for your online website that is live and can be accessed via the internet. So if you want to access the PHP My Admin for your live website, you need access to it and at the same time you need access to the control panel or C panel of the website. So once you log in into the control panel of your website, you will be able to find a section called databases or something relevant on those lines and you'll find an option that says PHP My Admin. Just click on that icon and that will pop up or launch the PHP My Admin section for accessing and administering the database. So you might have a question now, and that question could be this, how to get the control panel or cPanel details of your website. It's very simple. Ask your web hosting company. Usually you get the details of cPanel or the control panel in your welcome email the day you sign up with your web hosting company. So just look for such kind of an email from your web host and if you can't find it, just shoot out an email to those guys asking them to resend that information and they will be able to do that at no cost to you. That is how you can actually change your admin password or reset. 
Now time for the bonus tip. Troubleshooting. What to do if you can't still log in into your WordPress admin? Here's the answer. You could try troubleshooting. So let's see how to check the database information for validity. Okay, now let's check the WordPress database information for validity. Just access the path where you have installed your WordPress admin. In my case, I have installed it in here in this location. Look for a file that goes by the name wp-config.php and open it up in Notepad or any other editor of your choice. And once the file is open, look for the database information. So I'm going to highlight the information from here to here. So these four parameters are the most important settings that control the access of your WordPress database. And the first one stands for the database name, which in my case was WordPress. And the second one is for the database user, which is the root. You might have it configured in a different manner or a different name. So you might want to check that. And the third parameter is the database password. In my case, because I'm on localhost, I am not using any password, but I'm pretty sure that you might be using the password. If your web designer has set it up or someone else has done that for you, you might want to check with them for that information and make sure that it appears correctly. And the last piece of information is the DB host. In my case, it's localhost because I'm trying to access that file on localhost, but you might see this information as www.yourdomainname.com or something on those lines. So just recheck all these four parameters for the validity of the information. And if you find something funny going on, or if you find something incorrect, then just make sure that you go ahead and fix that up. Or if someone else has done the solution for you and has probably changed things around without your knowledge, you might want to get that fixed ASAP and then try changing the admin password using the information that I've provided. So this is one troubleshooting tip that you could probably use to possibly fix the problem. That's it for this video. Hope it helped you guys. If you found this video to be helpful, please feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment, share it on social media, and subscribe to the channel. Soon after you subscribe, make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.